So I would like to say to both of you. You are no longer two but one. Now this oneness is not automatic. Lifetime commitment is what is demanded of you. Okay, my dear David. Lifetime commitment. Lifetime faithfulness. Sister Reni. Yes. God joins the man and woman together. And let no man separate. I have heard people making their own covenants. Yes. We know that. You know, soon you will make this covenant. This pledge that I take you. You know, you are going to say that to her. And she is going to tell you that. I take you to be my husband. I take you to be my wife. You know, for worse, for richer, for poorer, for in sickness, in health, and so on. And towards the end it says, as long as we both shall live. Right? It's there in your covenant, right? You know, but many have changed that. They make all this richer and poor health and not in health. And what they have changed is, as long as our love would sustain us. We will live together in sickness, in difficulty, as long as love will sustain us. You know, they have changed the vows according to their convenience. It's not as long as our love will sustain us. It's no longer. This is ridiculous. This is saying to one another, I, I, I would like to remain committed to you until our honeymoon is over. That covenant is like that. I remain committed to you as long as your job is good and secure. I remain committed to you as long as my wife looks beautiful as I got her married. That's, that's not what the covenant is. Amen. Amen. It's a lifetime commitment. It's a lifetime faithfulness. All that we see today is not marriage based upon God's word. There is no lifetime commitment. You know, everybody is in a hurry. But don't be in a hurry. And David, listen to God. Listen to God. Yes. Because this day would not come back. And begin it well in God. Yes. And I can, you know, communicate this important message to all of us. You know, for me, this marriage is very important. Not because I'm getting married. This marriage is very important, not because David and Rini, they are going to get married. Brother David, Sister Reni, Luhong, Bagi, Maram, Namaru, Because Banate. this marriage communicates a message Maram di masigi Luhong, ba asina, to wapa, God's people and all who have gathered here, whether you like or not. This communicates a message. A message about the Lord Jesus Christ and His relationship with His glorious bride for which He will return soon. And therefore, I want to say to Brother David and Sister Rini, marriage is a manifestation of the gospel. Not only spoken by you, 
gospel lived by both of you. Adobo na koy ani gi mapa na hinghan ba wapa wadugi mapa na. Wife. Hay bi dinupa mapur oi ba ama dinupi oi na loina bi oi na. Or maybe not mess it up. Hay ri basinga se ai koy kangjai pujai yan sanagum si. Let's always keep that in mind. Hay ri basinga se ai koy wakal da matam puna makal yan si. You are communicating a message. Na koy na adugum ba wapa ama phauna ri bani masida. In and through your lives as well. Na koy gi punsi da gi wapa ama phauna ri bani. You know to have a Christian marriage. Adu gumba Christian luhong ba ama pangtok na na bagi tama. You know to have a Christian family. Adu gumba Christian gi imong amu imong manung ama lai na. Would mean many things. Would mean many things. Madu na artha maya ama oy rakpa yai. Yes. It brings sufferings. Masin awa anang sing supo rakpa yai. It brings rejections. Masin ami sing na intok po supo rakpa yai. It brings misunderstandings. Bhap tabi tabo su. It brings sadness. Masin awa po supo rakpa yai. And heartaches in many times, in many ways. Adu ga lam hiram kaya adu thamoi na abusu thok paye. But remember, adu boning sing view. God will always be with you. Matam puna matte iswar na koi boling na bhi. As you both testified, na koi ani mag na sakhi tau kibo kum na. You spoke about God's will. Adu ga iswar ki wahe tagi hai kibo kum na. And you have seen the principles of God. Adu ga na koi ani na iswar ki niti. A house that is built on a strong foundation will never fall. Adu ga ba ache pa yumpa madu da sagat krava adu sa. That is the guarantee. And the warranty. Madu na na koy da matampum bagi wai na piri bag guarantee warranty aduni. You know the builders in the Bible. Bible da yum sa basing kibar na na koy na kanga. Man on the sand. Adu gumba apang ba na na lingoy da sa basing. Adu ga yum nungjau tak tanung pak tak tanung sagat pa adu gumba. The man is to build on the sand. There are not much pains to be taken. Adu gumba lingoy tak tanung sa basing di awa nanggi wai bagi. Not a lot of money to spend. Ay di pa siya yam na su thada ningay. But if you want to build a tall building. Adu gumba na koy na awang ba yum mama sagat. You need to have a deep foundation. Adu ay bata ragi di makalu thaba yum pa madod. That is what civil engineering will teach us. Madu ni masida sastra na koy da. So the Bible says. Bible na hari basidi. In that parable. Madu gii kuda madu da ida hari basidi. You know, to build two houses. One on the sand, one on the rock. Me why ani na yum sai aman na lingoi thakta sai aman na nupak thakta sai. And the scripture says the rains and the uh, uh, and the uh, and the uh, uh, and the tides began to fall on the both the houses. Adha thegi the sastra na hai yum ani dudai da nongle nongshit lagtu na yum ani dudai da nongle nongshit. And the wind began to beat on both the houses. Hari ba yum ani dudai nongle nongshit na home dekle. And the scripture says. Adha thegi the sastra na hai ri. The house that was built on the sand fell. Adha thegi the lingoi thakta saaki ba yum ado ning khai ri. But the house are built on the rock stood the storms. Nungjau thakta sakat ki ba yum madu di adumak ningai tan ya tu lai. Or God doesn't say you won't have no storms in life. Ishwar ki wahai amar Ishwar na hai de na koi ki punsi de nongle nongshit nangloi hai na hai de. Don't say to one and why this storm. Na koi amar amar sohai na garu kari ki to nongle nongshit lakka dori basi ai koi na sakit ki ko kare. Masi Ishwar ki aning banena hai raga. Ai koi na prarthna ma yam. Why is this sad situation? Masi ki awa ba ma wa ma to sa thok ki banana kari ki no. Why is this suffering coming? Why is this suffering coming? Why is this storm in life? 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 Why is this storm in Adu magpo hari ba nung thakta sa ba yung ato turo. Sister Rini, God be with you. Bab tabiro, Sister Rini, Brother David, isaw na nakoy buloy na bigani. Madu gi yung pamadu ni nakoy ani na tarkal. So as we heard, your declarations are in accordance with the Bible. So as we heard, your declarations are in accordance with God's word. Nakoy na lauto krabado isaw gi wahe gi madu ngi na lauto kahay do pani. Yes. Government bodies of God to be ministers. Nakoy na lauto krabado isaw gi wahe gi madu ngi na lauto kahay do pani. Government of God to be maintained. Adu kumbai isor gi lenga akpa do sajana lehen gata bani sathan gata. Remember the headship of Christ in your family. Prabhu Jesus Christ na mapu ena pan ba do ning sing bi. Christ is the head of the man. Prabhu Jesus Christ na nupa gi makok ni. And husband is the head of the woman. Adu ga nupa mapu roi ba se na nupi gi makok ni. And remember this government in the family. Adu ga imong da lady ba masi gi lenga akpa se ning sing bi. The government of God Isor gi lenga ko always honored masi matampuna makta ikai khumna gada bani and i know you heard about it so aina khangi na koi na masi ta khara bani submission adu ka pisin ba to god's order and government is necessary isor gi paringa ma di lenga ko sida pisin basini amaru oribasa 
ไอ้ไอ้มุงมะนุงกิปุชีสิโตเรจยูเดอร์ฟอร์มะรัมมาดุนายนะนะคุยปุทากุตซารียูโนว์เดอะวอร์ดออฟกอดอิสเวรี
And this has to be maintained in and through a local church relationship. As both of you said, you have been added to a local church in Imphal. Remember, you are to grow in that relationship with Christ as the bride of Christ in and through the local church. Your communion through worship, through the gathering of the saints for the Bible studies, Bible study da amadi iswagi missing pun bagi mapanna. Or fellowship with the saints. Times of prayer, both corporate and individual. Ani magpunsi laga amadi tongan tongan bagi oiba. These will have to be essential part of your married life. Yes. And these priorities will help you to maintain that relationship with Christ. And therefore, the commitments and the pledges and covenants you make today, you have to maintain that towards one another and Without fail, unto God Himself. It's, it's all written in the covenant that you will progressively, you will give yourself as God reveals to you progressively. So, I would like to end here this message. Telling you both in the love of God. As you confess in your testimony, may God help you to be true to your covenants and pledges and vows you make. Shall we all pray? Let's bow our heads and pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your faithfulness. We thank you for this day, O oh God. A day that these two lives, David and Sister Rini, Lord, are now going to be joined together in holy matrimony. We thank you for the time of worship in your presence. We want to thank you for your presence here, O God, despite everything. You are the center of this coming together. You are the most important person in this gathering. We are your subjects. You are the king and the Lord over all things. Creator of the universe. You created man and woman. You instituted marriage. And we thank you for your word that has come to us today. And especially to dear David and sister Rene. Lord we commit these two lives. And it's our prayer of God. That the Holy Spirit would take these words and in the authority and power of thy word, these two lives may be joined together even as they make these pledges and vows, Lord, publicly before people and above all before thyself, O God. We pray, O God, you would help them to know that this is a relationship, a covenant of lifetime, a commitment of faithfulness, a covenant of faithfulness. Help them, Lord. So we pray, Father, your presence would lead us now to the solemnization and joining of these two lives together. We give you all the glory and praise. In Jesus' most precious, matchless, and victorious name we pray. Amen.